Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to calculate dipole moment and its corresponding potential, potential produced by dipole term in multipole expansion. And particularly, I'm going to show you how to calculate for a discrete charge distribution. Later, I will show you for continuous charge distribution also. So for this purpose, from Griffith book only, I'm considering this problem. Here, this vertical axis, I'm taking it as Z axis, this axis, I'm taking it as X axis, and this as Y axis. Okay, now what I'm doing here is, here at a distance A from the origin, there is a charge 3Q, and another charge at minus A, its value is minus Q and its coordinate is 0, 0, minus A. And for this charge coordinates are 0, 0, 3A. So for this configuration, I need to calculate monopole, dipole, and their corresponding potentials. So from multipole expansion, the monopole moment, which I represent it as capital Q, is equal to summation over I'm taking the index as alpha, Q alpha, where the value of alpha runs from 1 to if there are a number of charges, L. Okay, so that is equal to, when alpha is equal to 1, Q1 charge is how much? 3Q. Plus, when alpha is equal to, second charge is how much? Minus Q. So total monopole moment is how much? 2Q we will be getting it as. Okay, therefore, potential at a larger distance r is given by, therefore, v as a function of r is given by, how much due to monopole contribution? 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2q divided by r. This is how I write down the expression for monopole moment and its corresponding potential. Second step is I'm going to calculate dipole. How can I calculate dipole? So dipole moment term is given by for discrete charge distribution I'm talking about is equal to summation over alpha, okay, Q alpha into R alpha, okay. That is equal to where alpha runs from the number of charges. If alpha is equal to 1, charge number 1. Alpha is equal to charge number 2. Okay, that is equal to. When alpha is equal to 1, what you will be getting? 3q into its distance from the origin. Okay, so that is how much? 3q is at a distance of a. It's not 3, it is simply a only. So into a plus. Next charge is minus q. When alpha is equal to and its distance from the origin is how much? Minus A. Okay. Therefore, its total dipole moment term is given by how much? Minus into minus plus 3Q A plus Q A. How much you will be getting? 4 Q A, which is pointed in which direction? Upward direction, that is K cap direction. So this is the expression for dipole moment contribution. So and its corresponding potential is given by V as a function of R comma theta is equal to what we can write it as 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into P bar dot R cap. Okay, so that here it is going to become how much? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into P bar how much we got? 4 Q A K cap dot okay R cap divided by R square. I forgot to write down R square here. This is the expression. So this you can write it as that is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 
फोर क्यू ए के कैप कैप डॉट आर कैप यू कैन राइट इट एज कॉस्टेड डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस्टेड दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर वी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ आर कॉमन थी therefore contribution to the total potential is given by v as a function of r comma theta is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not i am taking it as common first due to monopole i am writing it as 2 q divided by r plus due to dipole i am writing it as 4 q a cos theta divided by r square this is how i wrote the expression for potential due to monopole and dipole in this case now in observation number 2 i'm going to consider this configuration so here this is z axis this is y axis this is x axis okay here the charge is distributed like this one charge is at origin that is how much minus q i am taking at origin and 3 q i am taking at this point that is its coordinates are 0 comma a comma 0 that is along the y axis in this second case how do you gonna get the expression for monopole and dipole and its contribution first thing that i am going to consider here is monopole i am calculating first monopole moment so what is the expression for monopole moment again for discrete charge distribution sigma over q alpha where alpha runs from 1 to n that is equal to, when alpha is equal to 1 this is minus q plus when alpha is equal to this is 3 q so total monopole moment is how much 2 q therefore contribution to the potential is given by v as a function of r comma theta is equal and you know here it is independent of theta for monopole okay v as a function of r is given by how much 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into 2 q divided by r next i'm going to calculate for dipole next i'm calculating dipole moment How do you going to calculate dipole moment? Same expression. Summation over this is written as p bar is equal to summation over alpha. This is q alpha into r alpha. That only I am writing here. That implies p bar is equal to, and you can write it as q alpha. Q alpha is how much for first charge minus q, and its location is zero. Plus second charge is how much? 3q, and its location is y. It is in which direction? Y cap direction. Therefore, that implies p bar is equal to how much you gonna get? 3q y along y cap. Okay. Then therefore potential due to this dipole is given by v of r comma theta is equal to what I can write? 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon not into p bar dot r cap divided by r square. That is equal to how much you gonna get? 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into 3 q y. This is j cap dot r cap divided by r square. In spherical polar coordinates, j cap dot r cap is equal to how much? Sine theta cos phi only. That only I am writing here. And then, so do so. Sine theta sine. In this. In spherical polar coordinate, j cap dot r cap value is how much? Sine theta sine phi only. You substitute it here. That is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught into three q y divided by 
r square into you can write it as sine theta sine phi this is the expression for v as a function of r common so all together you can write down the expression for total potential is given by v as a function of r comma theta here it is depending on phi also is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught you can take it as common into or you can write monopole is 2q divided by r plus dipole is how much 3q a sin theta sin phi divided by r square this is the overall expression for potential due to this configuration as a third observation i am considering this case in which this is z axis and this is y axis and this is x axis there is a charge at this point which is positive and its coordinates are 0 0 and a and along this negative y direction also there is one charge this is x coordinate system at this 0 a 0 there is one charge which is minus q and at this coordinate 0 minus a 0 there is another negative charge minus q due to this configuration i wanted to find out potential at a large distance r so for this again i am proceeding like this first i will calculate contribution of monopole first i am calculating monopole moment what is the definition of monopole q is equal to summation over q alpha where alpha runs from 1 to n that implies monopole moment q is equal to take alpha is equal to 1 that is q plus alpha is equal to minus q plus alpha is equal to 3 minus q that is equal to how much you will be getting q therefore potential due to monopole as a function of r is given by how much 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by okay next in the second step i'm going to consider the contribution due to dipole dipole contribution i wanted to calculate to calculate the dipole contribution what is the definition dipole moment sum p bar is equal summation over q alpha into r alpha summation over alpha. not only i'm calculating therefore p bar is equal take it q is equal alpha is equal to 1 if you substitute as a q its position vector r alpha is how much a which is along k cap okay plus next alpha is equal to minus q into its position vector is how much minus a that is a along minus j cap okay plus q is equal to 3 is how much again minus q minus q and its coordinate is a it is in which direction j cap direction if you calculate it minus into minus plus q a minus q a j j these two terms cancel each other so because of which p bar is equal to how much you're going to get q a along k cap direction therefore i want to write down the expression for potential due to okay dipole contribution is equal to what you're going to get here 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into p bar dot r cap divided by r square if you substitute this in this expression v dipole as a function of r comma theta is equal to what you're going to get 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into p bar is q a k cap dot r cap is how much that is cos theta one in spherical coordinate system q a cos theta divided by r square therefore clubbing these two contribution to the total potential as a function of r comma theta is equal 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 
monopole contribution is Q by R plus dipole contribution is Q A cos theta divided by R square. This is how I calculated total potential contributed by this configuration by using multiple expansion. 